Hey guys, Doyle here with Doyle's Basement Records. Hope everyone's doing well. It's, uh, I think it's Friday, about 11.30, here in Kansas City. Um, it'll be another one of those episodes, um, another crazy story, stories about the record store that I've dealt with. And this one is going to be about today, actually. Um, and I wasn't, I actually went downstairs when this happened. It happened all in like, maybe a 10 minute period and I just was not there. I was in the basement, I believe. Before we get started, why don't you hit that like button? I think I, maybe I didn't say that already, but hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Let me, leave me a comment in that comment section. Let me know if I suck, if I do them all right, guys. Sorry, my voice is a little different. I've, allergies have been kicking my ass today, man. But, um, all right. So, <laughs> this looks pretty good. All right. So, how, how am I going to, alright, so, this is how I'm going to start this. So, apparently some guy was yelling at a customer today, uh, he was not wearing a mask, remember, I'm in Kansas City in Missouri, it's mandated, you have to wear a mask in our building, um, sucks because Missouri is like the worst fucking state in the U.S. about not wearing a mask, um, so, he, this is fucking stupid too, man. But he's yelling at this customer, and we we have extra. <coughs> excuse me, we have extra masks. So we're like, yeah, some people forget to bring a mask. I mean, it happens. No big deal. Um, so they're like, yeah, you can have a mask. Like, no, I don't. I don't believe that. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not a sheep. <laughs> all right, man. But uh, like I said, I'm not here. So I heard all this after this happened, though. But uh. It's like this, you know, coronavirus is all fake and blah, blah, blah. You're all sheep for following what the government wants you and whatnot. It's like, dude, you do, you're you you're going to cause this big of a scene at a record store. Like, that's where you're going to make your point. It's like, man, we're all just trying to get some music. What are you doing, bro? Sit, like, really? Um, and you're going to... This shit pisses me off. Uh, but anyways... He, and then, um, one of our managers says, it's time for you to leave. He's like, I'm not leaving. And, you know, apparently he's a big dude. He's like, he, they said he's like the same size. I'm a big guy. I'm 6'5", 280. So I'm a big dude. Um, they said he was probably around this, maybe even a little bit bigger than me. Um, and he's like, I'm not leaving. And, uh, his, I guess he had a girlfriend there. And she's just laughing and thinking this is so great. And, like, he keeps saying coronavirus is fake it's like man whatever your opinions i don't really give a shit just come on man put a mask on for 15 minutes or whatnot it's not gonna kill you i mean jesus christ but uh he he's like i am not putting on a mask and you cannot make me and then we have another guy he was there he's like man it's time for you to leave um and then he he always has like a taser on him <laughs> i guess so he zapped it <laughs> telling him to leave and then we, they finally get him out, and then he's videotaping, and then finally he starts videotaping, like, look at these, like, calling us, like, them Karens, like, look at these jokes, or, not jokes, I should say, but probably, like, these douchebags, you know, they're afraid of something that's not real, coronavirus is not real, it's all fake, why are you guys so stupid, it's like, my God, man, <laughs> and then, um, he finally gets in his uh, car, but he stays in our parking lot, apparently, for, like, almost 10, 15 minutes and hasn't left, either. Um, <laughs> then he he finally leaves, but, yeah, he, uh, like I said, he was vi was videotaping this, like, whole thing and says he's going to put it on the internet. I'm like, I all right. <laughs> but uh, I thought it was kind of a random uh, little story. And I'm like, man, I always miss everything, it feels like. Let's, uh, let's go to another, um, story. So this one's back before the pandemic. This is the person I kicked out. Um, I've, been ki I've kicked out, man, maybe five people out of the store, which is nice about our store. We've got, like, you don't have to deal with people's bullshit if we don't want to. If we tell you to leave, 
I don't want to deal with you. That's fine. But, you know, you can't make a habit of this. Like, you can't be doing this, like, every day. But, you know, you got to take some bullshit. You know, take somebody being rude or whatnot to you. But then if it gets to, like, where they're abusing you, you tell them to leave. So, I'm bringing up this young lady. And this guy is standing. This is, like I said, this is probably about two years ago. Bringing up this uh, young lady. This guy, he... Right behind him. The girl's probably early 20s. This guy's in his 50s. And it seemed like they kind of knew each other just barely or anything. And then, um, man, he, like, he's, he got so close. It felt like his chest was, like, touching her back. And then I said, because it, it, with how they kind of conversated, it looked like she did not like him. Like, you need to get away from me. And then I was like, buddy, back up. And he's like, huh? What? I think it's cool. I know her. I'm like, you need to back up. I don't want you on her. And he said, I don't remember exactly what else. They, he says something, and you can just, I can just tell she's getting uncomfortable. And it's making me uncomfortable. I got three daughters. Mm, I don't play that shit. Um, man. And it just keeps, and then finally I see this guy lift up her hair and kind of smell the back of her neck kind of close to the ear. And I was like, that's it. Get out. And he's like, what, man? We're all having fun. And when when he's doing this, she's like, kind of like, you know, you can't even see me. But she's like, no. And not even saying it like real loud either. And I was like, dude, get out. He's like, what? We're all having fun here. I'm like, we are having fun? She is, you are abusing her. You are, she is not having fun right now. And then I, I don't do this often, but I was, I was heated, man. I do not like people doing that to women. You know, like I, said, I got three daughters. Ugh, I ugh, I couldn't even imagine if that was my daughter and I saw someone doing that to them. Um, but I jumped down off my counter, and I, I remember I get I get real close. I'm like, let me smell your neck. He's like, whoa, 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 why are you doing that? I'm like, exactly. Why would you do that, Turk? So let me. I get. I'm like, let me smell you, bro. Let me rub up against you. We're all having fun, right? You know. <laughs> Oh, man, I, I, I did the whole bit. Like, yeah, we're all having fun, right? She's that's not fun. I'm like, yeah, she's not having fun, man. Like, what Like what in your head? I'm like, do you not have a mother? Do you not have a daughter, obviously? Or you just don't give a fuck because you're a piece of shit? I mean, man. You, <laughs> oh, man, that was, oh, I was heated. I, I never really punch anybody for no reason. I mean, I get, that's not no reason. But me, I I wanted to lay him out. I I don't like that. Um, never have, never will, man. I'll never stand up for that. And you, oh God. And then the lady kept saying, "Oh, thank you so much." And then I was like, and I was like, you know what? You can if you just want to wait here for a little bit until he leaves. Like, oh, I gotta catch the bus. I was like, well, let me walk with you just to make sure that creep doesn't do anything. Or anything like that. But, uh, man. Yeah. So, like, dude. Like, she's in her early 20s and your 50s, dude. And, uh, that's sexual harassment right there, brother. Like, what are you doing? And that part where he said, we're all having fun. God. I love that I turned it against him, though. I'm like, what? We're all having fun here. Let me smell your back of your neck. Let me get rub up against you. So you like it. You know, <laughs> man, but, uh, all right, guys, oh, I think that might be it I, for this video, I know I need, uh, I got a few more records, I'm probably gonna release this video probably tomorrow morning, I might do another one about the, what I think of, uh, the record store day for, uh, thanks, not Thanksgiving, uh, Black Friday, and then, uh, yeah, I need to do another video. I got a few more records uh, the other day, but just been busy. Uh, worked every day this week. I got one day off this week. Uh, a few days at the record store and a few days at landscaping. And uh, other than that, I just wanted to kind of show you two more little stories about uh, my cra some crazy moments at the record store. And I, I, I got a few more I'm definitely going to keep doing. Uh, but, um, yeah, these ones got kind of real today, huh? But, uh. Man, that, both of them were just jerks, man. Right? 
I don't know. I don't need to get the whole vaccine, whether you're not. I just, I don't get my kids sick. Man. That's all I care about. It's, uh, I don't want them getting it, so that's how I feel. But uh, other than that, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, leave me a comment in that comment section. Let me know if I suck or if I'm doing all right for you guys. But other than that, man, uh, we'll see you guys later.